So I just wanted to do one more video, and this time we'll be installing Z command. Um, Z command is what we're going to be using to make commands. So in the last video, I said we won't be using the um, the, the, the callback, the uh, on play command callback. Um, so you're going to need to go onto the forum and sign up and log in because you're going to need to log in to download this, and then search for Z command. Okay, I'm going to go onto Google instead. Samp Z command. Yep, first one. And we're going to scroll down. It's on paste bin, so scroll down. Raw data. Just copy all of that. And then go back into your Samp folder. And then we're going to go into Porno, Include and create a new text document, name that Z command and delete.txt and create.inc edit this and paste that code in from that paste bin and now if you go back to your script we can just get rid of that thing we did from the last video and now up here there's an include samp and that's basically what an include does is includes all of the script files and bits of code that you're going to be using to basically make your script. So this includes a load of the basic SAMP stuff that you're going to be using. And we're going to include this new one that we just created. So include Z command. And just type it like that. Um, so yeah, it grabs them from here. <coughs> so you've got a SAMP there. So, so yeah, you can just do that. And let's just compile that to make sure. Yep, all good. Okay, so that's compiled. So now we need to get another include from the SAMP forums. Um, this one's going to be. So we're going to go to Google again. Okay, so you're going to search for SAMP SCAMP2, and then you go to this wiki page down here. So it was SAMP wiki actually. Um, and then the SCAMP plugin that can be downloaded here. Come to this GitHub page and. On Windows, so, yep. And then just download that. I'm going to put that onto my desktop and extract it. Now open that folder, and there's two folders within there. And I'm going to just copy the whole plugin folder, the plugins folder, and go back to your root directory of the server. And if you've got no plugins folder, just paste that new one into there. Or if you have got a plugins folder, just copy the DL, the scams sort of DLL from there and just, yeah, paste it into there. And then back in just your scamp downloaded folder, open up the porno, include, and copy that folder file. Blah, 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 blah. And paste that. Um, yeah, watch the screen while I do this. Um, Once you put that scout include into there, you can go back into your script, and then we're going to do the same thing. Scout 2, compile that, and it's working, that's good. So now we're going to go to the bottom of our script and make our first command. So get a totally new space away from any callback, and you're going to write it something like this. So this is basically how you, the syntax of writing a command. You do the CMD in capitals, in the colon, don't use space. Uh, that's the name of the command, so heal me. And then we're going to say how much we want to heal. And basically, player ID is the player that runs the command, and params is anything that comes after the uh, text. So if you do heal me 500, then that's what is stored in the param, params variable. So the first thing we want to do is create a new variable, and we're just going to name this. Um, value, because this is going to be the value that we're going to heal the player, and then we're going to start a new if command. So just type this is how I'm typing it on screen. Um, yeah, to be honest, it's not too important to understand exactly what's going on here. The only important thing really is um, you know how to use this and use it in your own commands. Okay, so that's the script finished, and I'll just walk through what I just did quickly. Um, so up here we've got the new value which we're going to store this amount that the player chooses into and then 
this scamp is looking don't fuck that you don't need to worry about all this shit all you need to know about here is this second half the um the d here indicates what type of value is being put through so let me just get google up so here's a table that tells you which each value means so if you're taking say you would say we're doing a um a heel different player so heel and player id and the value you'd have just create um target id so you target id um, and then we'd look back on the table and we'd see user id is a u so we'd have ud because first we're taking the user id and then we're taking just an integer value which is a d or an i even and and basically what this code is saying is that we need both these values to be given to continue running the scripts. If both, the value, if both values aren't given, then we run this code here and we just kill the command of return and we return this error message telling them to um, give us the four values that we are asking for. Um, so if we get both values, we continue with the script and we get down to here. Uh, okay, so I've done two things a bit wrong here. So I've just looked onto the Google page, and I'm actually supposed to be using two parameters and storing the using the second parameter to store that um, value. So I'm going to delete that. And I'm gonna also I should be using a float value because um, that stores decimal places. So current HP, and then get player health, player ID. I'm going to store it into current HP. Let's try that. And we run perfectly. So the next stage would be to actually go into the um, script test it. Um, I can't do that right now because I still haven't installed GTA. But I'm going to do that before the next video.